Everybody know what time it is. I think that this is the one thing that makes Miss Donna Coleman Holman so happy. She loves the Article 15. My mama do too, though, Donna. My mama loves the Article 15. All right. All my Vietnam veterans, welcome home. Germany, good night. All my active duty military personnel that's downrange, good night. It is now time for Big Sarge's Article 15 of the day. Rashard Matthews, former wide receiver for the Tennessee Titans. Come get this work, bro. You are a grown man. You are a grown man playing professional football. And you're acting like a child. You are acting like a child. You did the equivalent to give me my ball, I'm going in the house. Basically, because you was outside playing pickup ball and you the sorriest one out there and ain't nobody giving you the football. So now it's my football. My daddy bought me this and y'all ain't got no daddies. That's what it make it seem like. Y'all ain't got no daddies. Y'all just got a bunch of uncles because your mama got a bunch of boyfriends. It's another story for another time. Let me tell you something. Uh, former Tennessee Titans wide receiver Rashad Matthews uh, asked to be traded from Asked to be, I'm sorry, asked to be released from the Tennessee Titans. And let me tell you all why. Let me tell you all why he asked to be released from the Tennessee Titans. Because he wasn't catching enough passes in the season. They weren't coming through him, to him enough. What? Are you serious right now? I understand your job is to be a wide receiver, but your job is also to do whatever the team needs you to do. Now, you could have retired at halftime like Bonte Davis if your heart ain't into it. But playing wide receiver doesn't just mean that you just go out there and you just catch passes all the time. What about blocking? What about when the play goes away from you? How can you be a decoy? There's other things that you could have done to contribute to the team. But you say... I don't want to be a part of this team no more. I'm taking my ball and I'm leaving. Are you serious right now? What are you saying to these kids? Well, if they don't throw y'all passes, just go somewhere else. Rashad Matthews, I cannot believe that you said release me because I am not getting enough passes thrown to me. Well, God dang it, dog, dog, dog. Have you took it to, into consideration that your starting quarterback has been injured for the last two and a half weeks. Have you not realized that your backup quarterback is Blaine Gabbert? Enough said. Two steps above Nathan Peterman, who is his quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. Do you not realize that the, the, the dynamics of the offense has to change because... They are injured at the quarterback position. They're so injured at the quarterback position that Blaine Gabbert got hurt last week. They had to reinsert Marcus Mariota, and he didn't. He wasn't healthy. He didn't even start the game. They didn't even want to play him, but because they didn't have anybody else, they had to insert him into the lineup. Now, according to ESPN, Matthews was Marcus Mariota's top remaining option after tight end. Uh, Delaney Walker suffered a dislocated ankle in the season opener against the Miami Dolphins. Uh, but Matthew, because Matthews caught 118 passes for 1,740 yards and 13 touchdowns over the past two seasons. So before his release, Matthews posted only three receptions for 11 yards through three games this season. Releasing Matthews means the remaining groups of young wideouts led by Corey Davis will have to uh, play a bigger role. You asked to be released, bro. You asked to be released because you weren't getting the ball. Not taking into consideration, who going to throw you the ball? Blaine Gabbert is a third-string quarterback at best. But the fact that they have him playing backup quarterback tells you something. Y'all, listen, for most of you all, you either, either play football or watch football, coach football, when a backup quarterback comes into the game, who is his favorite wide receiver? The tight end. 
He hasn't taken first team reps the whole season. So what does he do? The only thing that he can do is throw short passes, dump passes. He can't throw long because he ain't comfortable with that yet. He, he hasn't been playing. So what did you expect, Rashard Matthews? This is all on you. You quit. You said release me because I'm not getting any passes. Oh, wow. Well, I guess I should have just walked into my commander's office and said, well, you ain't sent me to NCO school yet. I, I quit. Send me home. I don't want to play no more. Are you serious? You're going to not look at the dynamics of what's going on with your team, and you're going to give up on your team and your teammates. Funny thing is, I guarantee you that that team up 45 North right now, the Dallas Cowboys, they probably looking at you. I would not be surprised if you signed with them because Jerry's just that way. I wouldn't let you play flag football with me, bro. I wouldn't even let you play paper football. You know where you just scoot it across and then you would kick the little field goal? You can't play that with me, bro. You can't play fantasy football with me. You quit on your team. What were you doing to contribute to the team, to help with the fact that they do have these injuries? Now, your former teammates have come out and said they support you, but what else they going to say? What else they supposed to say? Oh, and listen, I guarantee you, I better see on all these uh, NFL shows, I better see uh, all these former NFL players who got cushy, lavish jobs now, I better hear you all talking about this. The way you talked about Vontae Davis. If this is the exact same thing. If that's, what you, if that's, if that's the uh, dynamics you want to look at it from. This is the exact same thing. According to your logic, Vontae Davis quit on the team. So guess what? So did Rashad Matthews. He, could not, he couldn't work for me as a popcorn vendor. And I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got nothing. That's not a, a shot at the popcorn business. But he can't do nothing for me. Do what you do best, bro. Take shirt, shirtless selfies and, and, and uh, go online. Uh, update your uh, online dating profile. Sports Talk with Big Sarge right here on the legendary KYK and the all-new 92.3 FM. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I love ya.